That, but we are covering the BYU football team because it kicked off training camp today down in Provo. The Cougars coming off their second straight double digit victory season. They're going to be ranked in the preseason top 25. And as Dana Green shows us, the Cougars are looking to end their final year of independence with a bang. There's plenty of talent and experience at BYU this season. Back, baby. Better than ever. Let's get it. Let's get it. Just hitting the ground running. I mean, you look at all of our, our offense. We're, we're coming back. Our defense is coming back. So it's fun to just kind of like, you know, you got over that learning curve. I mean, it was fun. We got to play football again. I think there was a lot of energy, which is expected for the first day. Um, there's people competing. You know, it's a first day, so we're going to have a couple mistakes. Um, but, you know, we, we'll get those cleaned up. Unlike last year, Jaron Hall comes in as the unquestioned starting quarterback. After throwing for 20 touchdowns and just five interceptions, Hall wants to stay healthy and put together a full season. Another, another year of experience under my belt. That's it. Just a little more confidence. Um, game's a little slower, a little more understanding of things. So just trying to keep everything simple, you know, as always. One of the big questions to answer this fall camp is who's going to carry the load at running back? Cal transfer Chris Brooks will get every opportunity to be that bell cow back. Feels like I've been doing the same thing, you know, just, you know, same me, just new new colors. You know, that's, that's kind of how it is. I feel great, you know, I feel comfortable. You know, our coach has prepared us great uh, for this moment. And, yeah, grateful to be here. I don't know, have you seen him? He's big, he's strong, you know, he looks, he looks the part, but... Uh, you don't get that big and strong from just being lucky. You know, that's hard work. Kalani Satake isn't just thinking about football these days. He's got another newborn to go home to as his wife, Timberly, just gave birth to their fourth child, Sylvia, two and a half weeks ago. Lucky and honored to, to be a, 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 a new daddy, but feeling really old still. You know, but I, I, it's a lot of fun and I have older children, so there's a 12 year gap and so. I never get to hold her, really. Hall just became a daddy himself, so he may have some pointers for his coach. Me and him need to have our little uh, sit down, see if I can give him a, a reminder or two. It's been a while since he's been through this, but I think his wife's probably got it all figured out. There's new beginnings all around Provo. Dana Green, ABC4 Sports.